Hey guys, welcome to another video. So hopefully you've watched the hunt of the eland. Um, you can see we're processing the meat right now. So right here, this is a tenderloin. Those of you that whitetail hunt, it's about the size of a deer backstrap. So what we're going to do, we're gonna fillet this down. Like I said, this is a tenderloin, so this is super tender meat. Full disclosure, we've never had Elon before. This is going to be a first for us, so we're not sure how this will turn out. So you're going to join along with us and learn if it's any good or not. Can't imagine why it wouldn't be. Let me look at how pretty that meat is. All right. So we got it kind of laid out there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put some cream cheese on here and then some other herbs and stuff. All right, so we got this cut out. I'm gonna put some cream cheese. I've just got some uh, kind of spread cream cheese. This is kind of a little bit softer than like the block cheese. So it's, to me, it's a little bit easier to work with. We're just gonna kind of smear it on. No fancy way to do this. So you got a good coating there. Okay, so here we've got onion rings that we've cut. Just gonna kind of lay them on there. Do it. And then take a little bit of spinach. Just like that. Next thing, this is something new that we have found. We found this Italian olive salad at Walmart. And it's really good, especially like with cream cheese. So we're just going to put a little bit on there for that kind of taste that this has. That looks good. All right, then what you do, take that and fold it over. So you have something that looks like that. All right, so we're going to use this black truffle olive oil. Just going to pour a little bit in there. Smear it around a little bit, make sure it's good and coated. And we're going to take a tenderloin, set it in the dish. Oven's preheating to 350 right now, then we're going to throw it in the oven. I'm going to cover this with foil, that way it kind of really cooks it good. And we're going to cook it at 350 until we think it's done. Alright, so just so you guys get an idea of how much meat we're working with. This, and it's heavy is one back strap. This is a pile of a back strap that was just like this off of the Elon that we've already cut up. And then this right here pile is scraps that came off of this back strap that we're gonna use for grinding. Got another tenderloin. Got some ribs right here we're gonna marinate overnight that we're gonna try cooking tomorrow. We've got a hind quarter in the freezer that's partially cut up another one that's in there chilling and then we like to eat the hearts that thing's massive isn't it and right here's where it, where i hit it with the shot i mean you can see it tore it open pretty good um if you're looking for a good good broadhead and All right, so if you're looking for a good broadhead that's gonna do, I mean, you can see it slice the sucker open really good. But if you're looking for a really good broadhead, this is the, the exact one that I shot the Elon with. You can see it's still on the arrow, arrow broke off in her. Um, I would definitely recommend these iron wheels. I've been nothing but happy with them. Each animal I've shot with them have went down. Um, these Elon are supposed to be one of the hardest animals to kill with a bow outside of a Cape Buffalo from what I've heard. Um, I got a quartering two shot, real heavy quartering two. Go watch the video if you haven't. Um, and she ran about a hundred yards, and before she piled up, and she bucked really hard when I hit her. So can't say enough about those arrows. But all right, so we'll get the uh, tenderloin in the oven when the oven's ready, and I'll come back to you with. Uh, the results of how that looks and how that tastes. Um, 
But in the meantime, I'm gonna get back to processing. All right, guys, so cooking time was an hour and a half. And look at that. Now remember, I did not put any juice in there, so that's all cooked out of the onions and spinach and everything. It looks really good. So I'll cut it here in a second after it sit for 10, 15 minutes. And we'll uh, see how it tastes. All right, so there it is cut. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? And it is delicious. So if you ever shoot an eland, definitely try cooking your tenderloins this way. It is excellent. I know we've cooked deer this way. We've cooked some other things this way. Um, but if you ever want a different kind of recipe and you've never tried this, definitely try flaying it out where it's thin, putting you some cream cheese, um, and then as far as the seasonings, that's really up to you. Um, we change it every time, but it's always really good. Um, hope you've liked this video. Like and subscribe for more. We'll be having a lot more uh, cooking videos with Elon because I can't find many of those on YouTube. So I'm going to try to do as many as I can. Thanks, guys.